This is by far the simplest way to make automated professional looking slideshows in DaVinci Resolve. By the end of this video, you'll be able to make stunning slideshows with images and videos of any size in less than one minute. Even if you have 1000 images, I'll be giving you two different styles. The best part is that they are completely customizable and reusable, so you can remove or completely replace images as you wish. If you stick to the end, I'll show you some special effects that you can use to take your slideshow from basic to professional in seconds. The first method is by far the most customizable but yet underrated. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new folder like I've done and I named my footages. So that just in case if you want to actually put like 1000 images, you're free to do that. Then the next step is you want to create your timeline, Control N. And then from here, you can come here and make some changes. On that format, you want to check this and make sure it's scale entire image to fit. And you click create. So let's create another timeline for people that want to do portraits for like TikToks, for example. You come here again, click format, you use here vertical resolution. And then here, it automatically changed to scale full frame with crop. You want to change that again to scale entire image to fit. Click create. Now you're going to come to this top part, DaVinci Resolve preferences, and then you come to user editing. You're going to scroll down here and then under standard still duration. It default is five, but you I'm going to change this to three seconds because of the sake of this tutorial. I'll click save. Now you're going to click on any of the stills you have. Let's use this one. You double click on it and select all your other images. Don't double click on any other image. Just if you single click, no problem. So you're going to click and maybe hold shift or control A to select all. And when you move your cursor, it changes back to the image you selected. Then you come here and then you're going to change your zoom under your inspector tab, you're going to change your zoom to 0.8. You can be on point now, but I'm going to use 0.8 for this example. Drag and drop everything to your timeline. You can see that the transformation followed throughout all the images. The next thing is we're going to move these images to the next tab. And you're going to come to effects and then you're going to come to generators. And we're going to scroll down just a bit until we find paper here. And then when we drop the paper here, we're going to stretch it down the course of our timeline or span of our images. And this is already looking good, but you want to make the images stand out. So while still in effects, we're going to look for, we're going to open effects and we're going to search for something called drop shadow. So we're going to drop this effect on just one clip so that we can make adjustments before applying to all our other clips. So for instance here, we're going to, I like adjusting mine just a bit. You could keep yours as default, but I'm just going to move it just a little bit. You could change the angle, but I like this angle. You could change the distance as well, but I like all I'm seeing here. So let's leave it like this. Now you're going to come here, you're going to hit Ctrl C. You're going to select all your other images, then press Alt V. Or you could as well right click and then come here and say Paste Attributes. So when you come here, Paste Attributes, all you need to do is select Plugin. Make sure everything is deselected. Just click on plugin and click on apply. So that way, every other image has an area is already looking good. Now, the next thing you want to do is to adjust how your paper effect looks because right now it just looks like plain white, which is not what we want. So you're going to come here. You can see that as I'm moving this slider, you can see how it's changing. You could um, come here and increase your contrast, your gamma, kind of like you're doing photo editing of some sort. Just tweak it till you like it then you can tweak this around and yeah this looks good so by the time you turn this back on you see that your video looks much more better as i scroll through everything this looks much more better let's not forget our vertical timeline you could as well just copy all this ctrl c and paste it here ctrl v and you can see just like previously everything just flows down and it's completely beautiful Beautiful. See, looking good. As a matter of fact, let me show you what happens if I don't, if I didn't do what I did at the beginning here. If I come back here and I come to timeline setting and I change this to what it was before, which is full frame crop, this is what will happen. Can you see how this looks? Images that don't fit, we just completely get forgotten. <laughs> so you just, so we don't want that. We just want it to fit into it. See how easy that was? The next one is even easier while adding the modern feel to it. So we're going to come back here. We're going to drag all our clips to the first track this time because we're going to add all the effects to the clips themselves. So we're going to come back to effects and search for blanking fill. 
and then we drag and drop that and then boom see it's looking good so we we'll come back here and then we're going to do some key changes before we let go so we're going to come here and change this to zero because it crops out the edges and you don't really want that unless if that's what you want really so um then you come back down here it's just stretch to timeline i like keeping mine on zoom to timeline because i find that stretch depending on where you are stretch does somehow so then after that you can tweak all these settings if you please get what you want but then on that drop shadow just like before like i said everything is inside this track one time crank it up see simply crank it up and then you can change the angle the drop distance all that stuff but i like leaving mine as it is just cranking this up so then you could come down here and maybe tweak the appearance for instance so this fade amount let's just drop it to like uh, a 0.5 see automatically this is looking way better than the last one okay it's subjective but like yeah you see this versus this now you're going to do the same thing ctrl c and then you're going to select all the clips here on this timeline oops and then you're going to hold alt v and then for the plugins and apply so that way all of them look good and just like before if i copy all this ctrl c and paste it on the other timeline it looks good also here it looks beautiful here now let me show you again why i said you need to use zoom to timeline if i do stretch to timeline it doesn't look good so you're just going to use zoom to timeline and that looks much better after doing all these things if you don't add this effect your slideshow is not going to look professional at all on that video transitions you're going to click on the cross dissolve if you watch how this changes it's good but it could be better because in my opinion it takes too long to fade away so what you're going to do is you're going to come here you're going to click on it and then you're going to come here i think 0.3 works very good for me so if you watch that again see it's much more neater and the best part is you could actually come here and save this as a default duration but we're not going to do that we're just going to come here right click on this and when you see where it says it says create transition presets and you name it whatever i want so we're going to call this cross zoom i mean cross dissolve 0.3 so that you remember what it is and then if you scroll down you're going to see a new section for users here this is it now if you now if you select all your video clips and you right click on this and say add to selected edit points and clips boom now you have automatically applied that transition to all your clips and you can see how smoothly they all transition but wait you could even make it better just watch this let's undo all we've done undo undo now if you come back here let's use non-additive dissolve we're going to right click and add this to all selected points now watch this Ooh, smooth actually this is a very subjective choice but like if you ask me this looks better now to take it one step further we're going to come back here come to effects and then drop an adjustment clip you want to make this adjustment clip around 10 to 30 seconds long so that's way more than one 12 second line now so we're going to come here and then we're going to add click on this diamond here to add a keyframe on the zoom precisely and then you go to the beginning and then you make another keyframe on zoom and then the next thing you want to do is go back to that keyframe by using this line here and then you're going to increase this to around 1.2 because you know it's like 0.8 before so 1.2 nothing more than that especially because we zoomed out to like 0.8 so we're adding it back 0.2 so then you just want to come here right click ease in come back here ease out then you go back and you want to cut it ctrl b and delete the excess now what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate this you're going to duplicate it so you have the same duration but this time around you change this part to 1.2 and then you change the ending to 1. now you're going to change the color code of these ones the clip color let's use green because it zooms in and then let's use something close to red like orange to zoom out so this way if you have up to 1000 images you can easily just copy and paste this along like this so you see it just gradually zooms in ever so slightly
And just like that, you've made a banger slideshow and you're well on your way to leveling up your video skills. But there's more to being a great filmmaker than just slideshows. I've been in video production for over 4 years and there's some game changing lessons I've learned the hard way. Click here to watch my next video where I share 5 brutally honest tips that every filmmaker, youtuber or content creator needs to hear to succeed. Now as promised, I've come to the end of the video. Hey, da, come to which end? <laughs> my god. <sighs> Yeah, that's okay, I beg. I don't try for the brutally honest tips. How much did they pay me for brutally honest tips?